Hi, I'm Yash. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a realistic eye. Let's go ahead and mix in some skin tones, some white, yellow ochre. Look at that. It makes a beautiful light peach color. Some orange. Just add in that flavor. Touch of brown to dull it down. And some white. And let's come that over here and drop in the highlights. And there will not be in one single color. So without cleaning the brush, I went straight into some white. And look at that. No pressure there. And as I come down, I'll apply more pressure. Because I know the paint is still there. I've not wiped off my brush. Nor cleaned it. Okay, something like that. So now I've taken in some brown and lime yellow immediately. Not letting it to dry. That's okay. And drop in a few more of that. Go back with some white. Just do it like that. At this point, I will say that white is helping me to get the transition between the colors. That there. I'm taking some more white. And I change angle. Instead of doing it like that, I'm doing it like this. Horizontally. And give it a soft soft blend and that same color goes over there too look at that i can bring it right over here because it's already dark that lighter color will make it a dome tone if not lighter okay, something like that so now let and now let's go ahead and blend all these colors together Still using the manipulated flat brush. Oh yeah. Okay, something right over there. Hmm. Now I'm taking some white into that same pile of paint. And let's come over here and give it another layer of highlight. Go straight into some white, and yeah, that works. Just like that. Couldn't make use of the blender brush for this, but I'm making use of that same old brush. Now, let's go ahead and paint in the subject some white, and don't use pure white in this part. So I'll add in some black, just a touch of black. Add in more of white. And let's come right over here and drop in the shadow inside the eye. Okay, just like that. And something underneath the eyeball. Now without cleaning the brush, I've gone into some white. Look at that, this is also grey, that is also grey, but the difference is in the value. Okay, now let's go ahead and paint in this part of the painting. Okay, something comes off right over there and as you come over here, it will get darker. Hmm. And let's blend them together. Okay. Hmm. So now I'll take in some seascape green and touch of black. Maybe need more of black and some brown. Just make it a random color of that seascape green random shape and let's come right over here turn the paper and let's drop in the eyeball okay comes off right over there turn the brush change the angle of the brush 
should go real quick lightened up that color and just do it like that now I'll introduce most of my white into this same pile of paint and let's go back with that drop in that one okay and it'll be fairly dark there okay something like that now it's some white and yellow ochre let's come right over here and drop in something like that taking some brown and black create that mid-tone color and as we go towards the top with the eyeball it will get darker hmm. so now I've taken some black on that same manipulated flat brush and I'll just make it a bit darker okay hmm and as you come over here it will continue that color will continue so now I'll switch over to a filbert brush for blending. With that, blend that edge with that background. That will make it look very realistic. Let's come right over here and give circular motion for blending. And let's go ahead and drop in the pupil. We, they don't have to be perfect. Hmm. So now it's some orange, lime yellow, brown, and white. I'll come right over here and drop in this one. Okay. And sketching is very important. Taking in some pure brown. and here we'll have in that same color hmm. so now I've taken in some soft pink color and let's come right with there and drop it in hmm. and something over there too just go with that. Hmm. Now I've taken in more of red and brown, mostly red. Go straight into some white. Mix in some black. Okay, and just give it an outline. Yeah. And maybe another one going to come right over there, something like that. And the outline will be over here too. Using the rigger brush. So now I'll mix up some white to that same pile of paint. Let's come right over here and drop in this. Just give it a soft blend again, and I'll come right over here and drop in the light source. Something like that with the rigger brush, and to make it look natural, I'll go into some white and I'll just drop it in right over there. Taking a clean finger and blend them all together.
With this, I come to the end of this painting. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.